Hello everyone, this is Andrew Howe, aka How It Works. Thank you for watching another episode of How It Works. Today I'm going to be telling you how to be able to turn off Microsoft Defender, um, or aka Windows Defender, that's built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. Also, going back to 8 as well, if you're using a pro version of Windows or a enterprise version of Windows, then this video is for you. Now, if you're somebody like me that's technically inclined, can identify red flags on the internet, such as phishing links or malicious download uh, links, and you have third-party resources uh, to be able to identify those particular uh, red flags, then this video is for you. So, one website I would recommend um, if, you're, you, if you are following this video is virustotal.com. Anything that you download from the internet or any link that you want checked um, by an antivirus, you can plug that in into their website and it will then use over 30 antiviruses to scan that link or file uh, without a need of a subscription or having to pay for anything. So um, before you launch anything, before you down, you know, after you download it, go to virustotal.com. Now, how you be able to turn off Microsoft Defender is first identifying what version of Windows that you have. You're going to hold the Windows key, you're going to press R, so the Windows key could be the flag looking icon or the actual um, window looking icon. If you're on a Mac, it would be Command, and what you want to do is then type in WIN, so Whiskey Indigo Nancy, Victor Echo Romeo, V E R, and press Enter. You're going to see about Windows pop up, and you're going to be able to see what version that you have. So I have Enterprise. So if you have Pro or Enterprise, then you have a thing called a Local Group Policy Editor that's built into your operating system. On like home users or core, uh, you don't have those abilities to be able to access the Local Group Policy Editor. So what you want to do is close this out hold the Windows key and R again if you do have Pro or Enterprise and type in GP so that's Gulf Papa edit so that's Echo Delta Indigo Tango period and then MSC that is Mike Sierra Charlie press enter expand the local group policy editor window Extend the sidebar a little bit to where you can be able to see everything. And then you'll see computer configuration. And then you're going to see administrative templates. So you're going to click the drop down arrow. And then you're going to go down to where it says Windows Components. Click that drop down arrow again. Scroll down until you see Microsoft Defender Antivirus. You're going to click there. And to turn off real-time protection, which is what runs in the background and always checking every file that you have, you double-click this folder, and then you go to where it says turn off real-time protection, click enable, apply, OK. So, as you would go down to manage settings under virus and threat protection settings, you're going to notice real-time protection is not disabled, and it says by your administrator, which is you. So having that turned off helps save on system resources like CPU and RAM. Now, a couple of other things I also do is I go back, and then Microsoft Defender Antivirus. I go down, and it says allow anti-malware service to start up with normal priority. I'll double-click here. And then I select Disabled, Apply, OK. Then I go to turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus. And I would say Enable, Apply, OK. And then I go down to here, Allow Anti-Malware Service to Remain Running Always. Double click, hit Disable, Apply, OK. And right away, you're going to notice that your OS is very snappy because you turned off those settings. Now, if you really 
want to see it in full effect, sign out or reboot your machine and sign back in and you're going to notice that it's going to feel very, very snappy uh, because, well, you don't have anything running in the background on startup and two, you're not going to have anything that's going to continuously run in the background um, that is a, a Microsoft antivirus that's going to get in the way of you being able to use your applications. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you may, please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, please help each other in the comments. If you need to reach out, don't forget to go to my website and click contact, and then it will take you to my Discord page with all my contact information, and then you can be able to simply join my Discord and reach out to me directly. I hope you all have a great one. Thank you. Bye-bye.